Now Antonio Jesus will tell us about superfluids. Hello, good morning everyone. I'm Antonio Leal and I'm going to talk today about our studies in superfluid helium surrounding this topic, can superfluid rotate? But first of, first of all, what is superfluid helium? Helium-4 uh, is a true liquid at uh, absolute zero temperature due to its uh, large zero point motion. And it, at this superfluid state, uh, helium can fluid with, without any viscosity. Uh, both of these uh, properties are uh, macroscopic manifestations of uh, quantum effects. So we can, we can say that uh, helium is the, the paradigm of a quantum fluid. Well, that's great, but uh, why, what is, why is that so important and why do we study it? Well, I'm showing you here four of the main reasons. First of all, Helium droplets uh, can uh, capture any possible dopant, and uh, due to its weak interaction with any other substance, uh, superfluid helium can be used as a gentle matrix for spectro spe spectroscopic studies of those dopants. Also, the dynamical evolution of uh, excited impurities in, in helium droplets uh, is the first step towards a better understanding of uh, chemical reaction of this quantum environment. Of course, we also have to reach a, a better understanding of uh, uh, superfluid properties in, in, at the nanoscale. Well, uh, in this uh, slide, I show a simplified the scheme of how experimentalists get these dope droplets. First of all, we have pure helium gas phase and high, at high pressure and low temperature. After uh, a free expansion, the helium atoms collide between them and form the helium droplets. Then a velocity selector filter the, the droplet that will reach to the reaction chamber, the, the place where the, the capture of the, of the impurities take place. And after that, we have the, the dope droplet. And finally, using a laser, we can obtain the molecular spectra of the, of the impurity. But in this talk, I'm going to focus on, the, on what, happened, what happens on the reaction chamber. We have made some simulations uh, within density functional theory framework. When we may collide a cesium impurity with a helium droplet, in this case, the impurity collides with, a, with helium at 50 meters per second and with an impact parameters of uh, nine angstrom and deposit some angular momentum in the droplet. We can see how the cesium atom is captured and orbit along the droplet surface. And we can also see how the droplet, the whole droplet is rotating, right? No, it isn't. We have calculated the, the flow pattern of the droplet, and we see how the current lines do not represent a rigid body rotation, and the displacement of the impurity is due to a surface effect instead of a, a rotation. Uh, in fact, the flow pattern obtained is uh, the corresponding to a rotational fluid. So that's it. That, that it is. I want to send to my group 
and we also work in, in other topics related with uh, superfluid healing. Thank you for your attention.